All right, guys, how many of you know Perfumology, the store, and also their fragrances? They now have a new fragrance called Sudute, this one right here, and I was going to review it, and I thought, why don't I just go ahead and do a top five list since I discovered that they have five full fragrances now, with the latest being Sudute. So today, in this video, you're going to see a rank list of five perfumology fragrances, including the latest Sudute. So if you want to find out about them, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian, and I'm here with another video for you today. So Perfumology, as I said, has launched a new fragrance, Sudute. This is it right here. And all of their fragrances come in little uh, square bottles like this. They're in 50 ml, and they're $95 each. They're sold in their store. I've never been to their store. It's in Philadelphia in the old historic city district. One day I will go, hopefully. But they now have five fragrances. This is their fifth. And I'm going to do uh, a ranked list for you uh, for this particular particular video. Uh, but before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So let me know if you're a fan of this house or know about them or never heard about them. As I said, they are a store in Philadelphia. Uh, it's a perfume shop that sells, you know, niche perfumery. I think they don't they don't sell any designers. I think it's all mostly uh, niche perfumery. But uh, they have five of their own uh, releases. All fragrances are created by Justin Frederico. They retail 50 ml for $95 like this. And I don't personally, uh, well, I, I should say, I, I've never seen Justin Frederico as a perfumer before the fragrances from Perfumology, but um, you know they have some really really great l releases and 3, 2, and 1 are really really great to me, although I should just say they're all really really great, but 2 and 1 are really really awesome for me with 1 being amazing, like I really love it. But why don't we go ahead and get started with uh, the fifth fragrance in the collection that I'm putting at number 5, and this came out in 2019, it's Lima. L apostrophe IMA. So this one to me is ranked at number five because in the end there is something watery running throughout the fragrance. There's kind of a lightly aquatic, maybe bordering marine touches for me, but uh, it's a fresh fragrance. It's uh, also it's uh, floral. It's also very, very green and lightly vegetal, but uh, it's spicy and things like that. It has notes of mint, lemons, pomelo, tomato leaf, lemon verbena, lily, cashmere, musk, geranium, orris root, neroli. So this is a, a lot of different notes going on in here, but you do experience the green aromatic touches from the mint along with the juicy lemons and pomelo note. Now it does say tomato, tomato leaves, yes you do experience that. So there's a little bit of a bitterness running throughout the fragrance. It's not overly bitter though because I find tomato le leaves to be bitter in fragrances and I really do enjoy this note. I think it's a unique smell that doesn't come up too frequently. And here it does come up, but it's not overwhelming. It's not about the tomato leaves. For me, it's more about the mint with lemons and pomelo. And it's kind of like you're experiencing like a mint tea with lemons kind of a thing. I don't know if you've ever had this particular kind of a boiled lemons with mint kind of a thing as a tea. I get that here, but it's a cold uh, experience rather than warm experience to drink as a tea. But you do experience lots of astringent touches. There's this kind of like herbal lemony lemon verbena note that comes in, but it gets musky with a little more aromatic touches. There's a little bit of a, a powdery touch running throughout it as well, but I think I've ranked this here because it does have a light, you know, marine thing happening. And I believe it's inspired by a garden with a little bit of a fountain there. So there's a watery thing, aquatic thing running throughout the fragrance and you experience the fragrance when you're wearing it. There is a kind of a watery touch. And as I said, it kind of lightly goes marine for me. Not a lot, just a little. That's why this one's at number five. But it's a it's a matter of taste and preference. I, prefer number one a lot more than number five. So I've ranked us here, Lima, at number five. So this is Lima from the House of Perfumology. And these are Perfumology fragrances. Of course, Perfumology is a store, a, perfume, a niche perfume shop in Philadelphia. If you're ever near there, you should visit. 
I will go one day, hopefully, but that's number five, Lima. All right, at number four, I am actually putting in Sudute at number four. So Sudute to me kind of is a mysterious fragrance experience. There's no mention whatsoever of leather, and I get a light leathery touch here, kind of like a fuzzy. Just imagine the hair on a peach, the fuzziness. I get that here. I thought initially this fragrance had osmanthus in the notes because it has kind of like a lightly apricot-y kind of a fruitiness with a little bit of a tea experience, just kind of really smelling like osmanthus to me. But according to the notes, there's none. But this is the latest release, Sudute, from the House of Perfumology. It's a 2021 launch. Again, these fragrances are all $95 for a 50 ml. I have a link to Perfumology in the info box. But this one has notes of white tea, masoya wood, lychee fruit, green mango, frangipani, orchid, mandarin orange, benzoin, and sandalwood. And once again, there's a lot going on with different notes, but you do experience the tea qualities, and yes, you do get it. And I almost feel like there is osmanthus. Maybe it's osmanthus and white tea together because osmanthus is used as a tea, and osmanthus uh, kind of goes leathery to me. So I think I'm getting that, but maybe it could be kind of an accord thing created together with uh, the notes. There's a light creaminess here with that Masoya wood and I haven't seen Masoya wood come up too frequently the last time I saw it was in SJP stash uh, the fragrance and I really liked it there here it's not as creamy uh, as it is but there is definitely some creaminess there but you know you experience lots of fruits here there's a sweet touch and also a very tropical experience with the frangipani and the orchid note thrown in but in the end you know you've got some light resinous touches and a little powdery under there and then also some woodiness so in the end I put this one here because I prefer the other three a little more but again once again it's a matter of taste you might like this more than the other and again I'm not sure where I'm getting the you know leathery touches and as I said I feel like there's osmanthus in this I don't know why but osmanthus has this kind of like apricot fruitiness which I am getting here also leathery touches which I'm getting here and also the tea touches which obviously there's white tea listed here. Either way, it's my nose playing tricks on me or there are no those notes in there, but Sudute is at number four and that's the 2021 launch. Next fragrance from Perfumology is Bliss, which was launched in 2017. And I put this one here because in the end, all the fragrances are really, really good. I, I, as I said, this is the first time I saw Justin Frederico as a perfumer. I never saw his name before, and I think he does some great work. I think 3, 2, 1 are really, really great, with 3 and 2 reminding me a little bit of one another, and then 1 being really, really awesome, a perfect, perfect fragrance, very fizzy, Coca-Cola-esque kind of, um, you know, boozy touch kind of a fragrance. But Bliss is floral to me. There's floral and fruity touches, so I would I would call this a fruity floral fragrance. This came out in 2017. It has notes of green apple, ylang ylang, plums, Bulgarian rose, Italian orange, jasmine, amber, orris, patchouli. So it is a white floral experience, but lots of green apples. So there's a crunchiness here, juiciness, a very drippy, juicy green apple where you can experience the, that crispness, the crunchiness from uh, that fruit, the apple, green apple note, contrasted with ylang ylang. Now you do have, there is a little bit of a plummy touch here, a little like prune plums kind of an experience with a little rosiness with this one as well but it's lots of citruses and jasmine and then of course in the base there is a little bit of amber and orris and patchouli which kind of adds the kind of you know the light powdery touches with this one as well it's a great wear lightly feminine leaning but i think uh the amber and uh, patchouli kind of uh, takes it into more of a unisex direction but i think the fruitiness and the floral touches kind of could be uh you know uh experienced as being a little more feminine but than normal but I think it's a great fresh floral fruity floral fragrance definitely deserves the number three spot bliss from the house of perfumology which launched in 2017 is at number three all right two in one to me have a kind of a fizzy coca-cola-esque quality to them but two kind of also reminds me of bliss which is Grange Grange 
very good, very, very good. Two and one are amazing, I think, actually, from this house. They smell really, really great. Uh, they're the kind of fragrances that are very, very unique, which I like, not challenging, which I also like, and also really fragrances that you want to wear over and over again. Grange, launched in 2018. Uh, it features notes of fig, tobacco, cedar, oak, lime, and orange. But there is this fizziness about it, not as much as number one. I don't get the, you know, like overly Coca-Cola-esque kind of a vibe with this one as I do with number one. But it is definitely very figgy. It's f I'm picking up not only the fig fruit, but I'm also picking up fig leaves. So there is a little bit of a green, kind of leafy, uh, bitter greenness uh, running throughout it. But there's that fruitiness as well, which adds sweetness. And it's actually a great contrast to the tobacco. The tobacco is lightly ashy, a little smoky, but not a lot. And then of course you've got cedar oak. And then I'm thinking that I'm getting this kind of like fizziness from the lime and or orange or both together. But then I'm also thinking that there might be a little bit of an al aldehydic touch in here, which kind of creates this fizziness. I'm not sure where, but definitely it has some fizziness and I like that about it, which makes it a little more fun to wear. I think this is definitely unisex, not, not feminine leaning, not masculine leaning right down the middle, which I think uh, could be, uh, you know, uh, perfect for a man or a woman. So at number two, it's Grange, which launched in 2018. Really a great solid release from the House of Perfumology. A very unique scent that I really, really like. So Grange at, 28, um, Grange at number two. Okay, and lastly, at number one, it is Clutch. Clutch is really, really, really great, guys. So good. So I just wanna say right before I move forward with uh, the the explanation of this fragrance. This fragrance kind of reminds me of Acro Smoke a little bit. I think it's because it has that smoke note in there. Uh, that's kind of why it reminds me of Acro Smoke, but they don't go in the same direction. So they don't have similar notes either. This one has vanilla, doesn't have any benzoin, whereas Acro has lots of benzoin, and I don't think it has any vanilla, whereas uh, benzoin has vanillic touches. But this is definitely lots of vanilla. This came out in 2018, same year as Grange. It looks like they launched two fragrances that year. But Clutch is definitely the winner for me. I think it's so good. And if I, I'm a big fan of uh, Acro Smoke. That's kind of why I like this one. Plus I like the fact that this is definitely fizzy and it does have kind of like a Coca-Cola-esque vibe to it, which I really, really like. So notes are vanilla, LME, smoke, ginger, red cedar, oak, leather, and musk, but a beautiful wear, very, very sweet. You know, just like imagine you opened up a can of Coke and you left it there for an hour and you know it's gotten flat but still it has a kind of a light fizziness to it. That's kind of what I get with this one, but with lots of vanilla contrasted with that LME resin and smoke. And then the ginger comes in, adds the zing to it. You know, it's zingy. Uh, it contrasts beautifully with the vanilla. And then of course, lots of woods and leather and musk comes in. A, a really pleasant fragrance to wear. I think this is perfect. I think a lot of these fragrances are perfect for fall and winter, except for Lima being, um, the most uh, summer appropriate, I think. Also, Sudute is um, definitely something you can pull off in the summertime as well. But Clutch, on the other hand, I think is a great, great scent. I love its sweetness, the smokiness, because it the smokiness kind of adds like a tobacco-ish vibe. And tobacco and vanilla together always work beautifully together. And so this, to me, experiences the tobacco-like experience a lot more than Grange, whereas you know, this has tobacco-ish touches, but it's more, not necessarily ashy, lightly ashy, more leafy. Here, the smoke in clutch gives you a more of an ashy tobacco experience because you're experiencing smoke kind of a thing, you know? So good. Clutch is really, really great. And that's why I've selected that at number one because I love the way it smells. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the five fragrances from Perfumology. And again, it's a matter of taste that I've put this at number four, the, the latest release from this house. Uh, it's just, I like some fragrances a little more than others, and uh, this might appeal to someone else a little more than me, 
but uh, I think my ranking is uh, perfectly appropriate. I went over the fragrances over and over again. In fact, this is the second time I've shot this video, uh, and uh, you know now I know the fragrances even more now that I've shot the video a second time. But Sudu Te, you should check it out if you like tropical, fruity kind of fragrances with tea. And again, I don't know where I'm getting the, the leathery touches. Uh, I'm definitely picking up like light, kind of fuzzy, leathery touches in here. Very, very interesting fragrances. That's Sudute. Either way, guys, let me know if you know this house of perfumology. Have you sampled their fragrances? Do you like any of them? Are you curious to try them now that um, I've uh, spoken about five of them? Let me know. Put a comment down. And as I said, I have a link to perfumology in the info box. You can go check out the fragrances on their website. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.